Hi, I'm Tom Miggett from Tom Miggett Photography. Henry Ford once said, people can choose the color for their Model T so long as it's black. Well, in those days, if you wanted to have a car, it was a fairly easy decision to make. But today, Canon users can be faced with a real dilemma if they want to buy a zoom lens with a focal range starting at 24mm or 70mm. Today, I want to share with you my experience as over the past few months uh, and weeks and days, I've gone through that dilemma uh, myself as I wanted to buy a zoom lens with a focal range uh, starting at 24 millimeters. So Canon today offers us four options for that type of lens. Uh, the first one is going to be the 24 to 70 L 2.8 USM Mark I. That lens was released I believe in 2009 and it's proven to be a very good lens. Uh, image quality uh, fantastic, uh, fast focusing system with the USM and fast aperture with a 2.8. The current price for that lens is probably around £800. In 2012, Canon released a Mark II version of that lens, uh, and I've talked about it in past episodes. It's a fantastic lens. They've improved the image quality, the, uh, the vignetting, the distortion, the flare. Uh, it's, it's sharp throughout its focal range, um, and all this, and they reduce the weight as well. Uh, but all this comes at a price. It's £1,400. Whoosh! Um, so the third option is the 24 to 70 uh, L IS USM F4 that Canon released also in 2012. Well, that lens image quality is as good as the 2.8 Mark II. Um, the USM is the same, uh, but the aperture is F4. Uh, so uh, you have the IS, so, which is great, and that IS is really really good because it gives you. Um, for uh, four stops uh, leverage, so that's that's really really good, uh, especially if you're shooting videos. Uh, then the th and that pro that uh, lens uh, is slightly under the price of the two point eight Mark One. It's uh, I think it's about seven hundred pounds. So um, it, it, it it's it's pretty good. Um, then the fourth option you have is the twenty four to one hundred five L IS USM. F4. Um, that's an old lens. That's a lens that was released in 2005. But over the years, nearly 10 years soon, uh, it's proven to be a fantastic lens. Uh, really appreciated by uh, wedding photographers and, uh, and and other type of photography, studio photography, uh, and, and so on. Uh, really, really great lens. Uh, image quality, fantastic. Uh, fast in terms of focusing system. And yes, aperture. Uh, F4, but it does have an IS, uh, which is not as uh, great as the uh, 24 to 70 F4, uh, but it gives you three stops of light, so it's really good. So, uh, and that lens comes at a price of around £500. Uh, and funny enough, that uh, lens is often joked as being a kit lens because if today you wanted to buy a 6D or a 5D Mark II or a 5D Mark III coming with a lens, that would be the lens that would be coming with the camera body. So, um, but it's not a kit lens. Oh, it is, but it isn't. Uh, so it remains a Nell series. Uh, so my process of thought has been my budget. Can I afford the 2.8 Mark II? No, I do not have 1,400 pounds to put in uh, in the glass. What about a Mark I? Well, <clears throat> Yes, it's uh, it's a lot cheaper, uh, but today I cannot, so I would have to to to, to wait, um, and then the F4, the seventy to the twenty four to seventy F4, um, it's close to the same price, uh, but it's slightly cheaper, um, but then it's an F4, so we're going into a different category, right? So budget wise, that one would be really at the uh, at the top of the spectrum uh, for my budget. Um, and then I have to consider the other one, uh, the 24 to 105 at nearly 500 pound, of around 500 pounds. So that really is it within my budget. So that's great. Um, so the budget is tackled. So I think we've got two uh, two lenses. Then it all comes down to um, uh, the features. They're both f4. Uh, they both have is. So the 24 to 70 is will enable me to shoot roughly at one third of a second, which is fantastic. Uh, whereas the 24 to 105 at 70 millimeters, I could be shooting at one sixth of a second. So it's it's pretty much the same. It's great. Um, 
And that's where it comes, the, the real question here is the type of photographer. Uh, the IS is fantastic, uh, it's great because you're going to be able to shoot at l slow shutter speed, but uh, it all depends what you're photographing, right? If your type of photographer is um, portrait, uh, like I do, I do family portraiture, I do uh, wedding, I do landscape, I do uh, a little bit of wildlife photography, um, not, not moving one. Um, and street and all type of, uh, of photography but i do not do sport i do not capture things that move then i guess i'm fine with it if you need to shoot a uh, sport or anything that's going to be moving then the is won't, do, won't help you you will be stuck with an f4 and um that's might be too slow uh unlike the 2.8 although it's only one stop different but it's still there and why it's still there is because with the F4, you're going to have to rely on your ISO, so you're going to have to bring it up. And then it all comes down to how good your camera body is and how it's going to handle uh, the ISO. So, with my type of photography, uh, both F4 would actually work. And then it all comes down to, well, okay, but there's a focal range difference here. Uh, do I want to go only up to 70 or do I want to go up to 105? Um, Personally, when I'm not shooting professionally, because when I do professionally, I've always rented gears. It, it was more efficient, financially speaking. Uh, and that's how I've been shooting with the 2.8 Mark II, 2.8 Mark I as well. Um, I always use my 18135 for private life or real, real life, day-to-day -day, uh, photography. And I like this focal range. Uh, I like being able to go beyond seven centimeters. I like the compression, as, as you know, as you increase the focal lens, you increase uh, the compression between your background and your subject. And that's something that I like a lot. So I like that flexibility that it will give, that versatility uh, of it. Uh, and I like shooting from far away as well. Uh, so I like zooming. Um, especially when I do a family portraiture with the kids, uh, you know, they, if I can be far away and taking candid shots. So the 105 for that is really, really good. Uh, so another good point for this one. Um, and then one thing that people always talk about when they talk about aperture is the depth of field, uh, the, the bokeh that comes with it. Uh, well, interestingly, yes, the F4, if you compare the 24 to 7, the tw if you co only compare within the 24 to 70 uh, lenses, uh, the F4 does not have the shallow depth of field of the 2.8. But interestingly, if now you start taking those and you compare them to the 24 to 105, at 70 millimeters, yes, the 2.8 will still have a shallower depth of field. But if you have a 24 to 105 lens, why would you be shooting at 70? You're most likely going to be shooting at 105. And that's where it gets interesting because given that 105 focal lens at f4, the depth of field of that lens will be shallower than the 24 to 70s, whether it's 2.8 or whether it's f4, because of that focal lens. And that's why that lens is actually pretty good. So once I've added the budget, once I added the type of photography that I do, the type of uh, style that I like to do in terms of compression, the style again about the, um, the bokeh, uh, and all that put together will lead me to uh, receive 24 hours ago this lens. This is the 24 uh, to 105 LIS USM lens. I will be doing a real review of uh, this lens. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, so <clears throat> give me a few weeks to do that video and I will uh, not do some lab test. I will do outside, inside portrait, all type of photography with that lens and I will give you my feedback of it. But so far for the past 24 hours I've played with it uh, and I totally love it. Please notice that over the past few months and weeks and days, uh, my research has been uh, based on uh, a lot of uh, reading online, and that's why internet is great. But also, uh, I had the uh, I had the opportunity in the past to rent the other lenses, so I knew about them. And as far as this lens, I uh, happened to test it in one of the shops as well, so I knew what I was getting, uh, and so I'm very pleased with that. So I hope this. Uh, You've, I hope you found this informative uh, and uh, that's going to help you in your choice if you were ever uh, to um, buy such uh, zoom lens. So until next time, this is Tommy that's saying if you like it, well, capture it. And if you're lucky, with an L lens, ciao.